as we just heard, proud to be an Egyptian there in Tahrir Square. And we want to show you an image that caught our eye today because the view from space has been focused on this particular square. Take a look. Earlier this year, and then there it is from way up in space, 480 miles up, the sea of humanity. And every person in that crowd has a story, a reason for being there, for celebrating tonight. And Jim Shudo has also been in that square, Jim. Diane, tonight the mood in the square is electric. It's invigorating and hasn't faded one bit since they heard the news. There is no end in sight tonight to the celebration here or to this movement. This is the very instant when the exhilarating news reached the square. Soldiers on the balcony signaling down to the crowd that the president was gone. We were speaking to Mohammed, who at 30 had lived every day of his life under Mubarak until this moment. He's gone! He's gone! That's Tell me it. how you're feeling right now. That's a great day in Egypt. We did it in 18 days. It's an amazing thing. It's just 18 days and he's gone. Tahrir Square, Liberation Square, became Celebration Square. Fireworks flew, tanks became dance floors. Children cheered, old men cried tears of joy. But we are absolutely elated. Egypt is for the Egyptians. For the whole world. Power to the people. Power to the people. No. I, I'm speechless. The square is full of energy tonight like it's never been, and they say they're going to keep this energy up. They're going to stay here because the square is their insurance policy that the military keeps its promise to leave power. Tonight, for the moment, soldiers and civilians stood hand in hand. And at the epicenter of it all, Egyptians could dream as they never have before. Small dreams like Mohammed's, who brought his son. Now, now I will vote for the first time in my life. I'm 42 years old. I never believed in, 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 in that before. And now I will vote. I will vote and go to vote every time after that. And bigger ones, a dream of being president. Now anyone have the right to dream to be the president. Why Including not? Including you. Including me, and I hope so. Yeah. Tonight, Egypt is the land of the possible, a place where frustration ruled. And though they have so much more to accomplish, what they've accomplished in just these past 18 days is giving them, Diane, unprecedented confidence.